Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my newest members, Takahiro Suzuki. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Members are given shout outs in my videos. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be solving um, exponential logarithmic or logarithmic exponential. I guess it's both. Uh, anyways, something like this. Uh, we're going to be solving this equation and I'll be presenting four methods. Yes, four methods. But one of these methods could probably be called uh, like 2B because it kind of looks like the second method, uh, maybe a variation of it, 2B or not 2B. Anyways, let's get started. So first method. So for my first method, I'm going to be using substitution. So let log x with base 3 equal n. And now we have 81 to the power that. So we can basically write it as 81 to the power n equals 27. And this equation, as you know, is fairly easy to solve. Uh, we can basically... Well, here's the, here's the trick. Uh, 81 and 27 are both powers of 3. So I can write the 81 as 3 to the 4th power and then to the nth. And 27 is 3 to the 3rd power. By using the power of a power, I can write this as 3 to the 4n equals 3 to the power 3. And from here, the bases are equal, so are the exponents. I can safely say that 4n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 3 fourths. But I'm not looking for n, remember, I'm looking for x. Therefore, I'm just going to set um, n equal to whatever. So we have log x with base 3 equals 3 fourths. And at this point, you can just go ahead and use the definition. x is equal to 3 to the power 3 fourths. I'm going to simplify this a little bit. This means that the fourth power of 3 to the third, which is basically, I mean, did I say fourth power? It should be fourth root the fourth root of 27, because uh, 3 to the third power is 27. Great. That is the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Okay. My second method is basically, let me rewrite my original equation, 81 to the power log x with base 3 equals 27. My second method basically involves writing 81 as 3 to the 4th power. Let's go ahead and do that. So this gives us 3 to the 4th to the power log x with base 3 and then equals 27. Uh, notice that I'm not really converting 27 to, the, uh, to 3 to the 3rd power. So, set. so this method is a little different. But instead what I do is uh, multiply the powers and write this as 3 to the power 4 times log x with base 3 equals 27. And then um, just moving the 4 uh, as an exponent, so making it 3 to the power. Now we have x to the 4th power, log x to the 4th power. And we, we're going to be using some interesting properties of logs here. If you have a to the power log x with base a, this is always equal to x. And the proof is fairly simple. You can basically set this equal to y and log both sides, and you're going to notice that uh, y equals x. Okay, great. So this is a really nice property, like these two kind of cancel out. Okay, and this gives us basically, since these two bases are equal, I can safely say that this is equal to x to the fourth power equals 27. And then from here, I get two solutions, by the way. Uh, why didn't I get uh, two solutions for the first method? I'll tell you why. Well, here's the thing. We do, we do need a uh, requirement here we forgot to talk about. Uh, this is only defined for real numbers if x is greater than 0. So I'm going to reject any solution that is not positive. And obviously, this is a negative solution. So there are two numbers whose fourth power equals 27, but only one of them is acceptable because we're looking for positive solutions. Okay, great. Uh, can we find some complex solutions? Probably. That's something to think about. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. Great. Okay. So you might find these methods fairly similar, obviously, because we're solving the same problem and we're very limited in our way of solving it. But uh, the way they are kind of um, set up, I think these are different methods. 
and obviously you could always argue against that. Anyways, so our original problem again was 81 to the power log x with base 3 equals 27. Now I'm going to log both sides with base 3. So let's go ahead and do that. Log with base 3, 81 to the power log with base 3 of x equals log with base 3 of 27. Great. Now as you know, this is a power, so I can just go ahead and move it to the front and write this as log x base 3 times log 81 base 3 equals log 27 base 3. Everything is base 3 and these are integers actually, right? So the question is, you can use the definition here, uh, log uh, 81 with base 3 basically means that uh, 3 to the power, what number equals 81? That's the type of question you need to ask. If you understand that, logs are actually fairly easy. Uh, the definition is super duper important. Okay, so this is 4. This is 4. And this is a 3. Therefore, from here we get log x equals 3 fourths. And again, by using the definition. And if you don't want to use definition, you can kind of do the following. Like you can raise 3 to the power both sides. And as uh, our definition or rule from before, this is e equal to x. And x is equal to 3 to the power 3 fourths. And as you know, this is the same thing as 4th root of 27. Awesome. We get the same answer. And notice that uh, with the second method, we got two solutions because we got a polynomial equation like this with the even power. And, uh, but we had to discard one of the solutions, right? But with the other methods, notice that we're only getting a single solution, right? Okay. Now let's proceed with the fourth method. And this will be the last one. With my first, fourth method, or you could call this 2b, or not 2b, again, I'm going to write my original problem. This is the original equation. And I'm going to be substituting this for n. And then from here, I'm going to use the definition of logarithms. So from here, x can be written as 3 to the power n. Now let's go ahead and manipulate this expression. Let's replace this with n first. That gives us 81 to the power n equals 27 and 81 is 3 to the 4th power. And then now, instead of uh, multiplying them, I'm going to switch the 4 and the n because, as you know, they're being multiplied, so I can just switch them around like this. And now I can replace 3 to the power n with x easily, and let's go ahead and do that, and that gives us x to the 4th power equals 27. Again, we're going to be getting two solutions, but we're going to reject the negative solution because, remember, x needs to be... Uh, x needs to be uh, greater than 0. And uh, notice that in this case we get the result um, somewhat more directly uh, because uh, we don't even have to deal with like 3 to the power 3 fourths because we did not convert the 27, we only converted the 81. And the other solution is obviously negative but this is not accepted and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.